My name is Dor Schooler. This is Dimitri Stiliadis. I'm the general manager, and Dimitri is the chief architect of the solution you're about to see. We're excited to show you a new technology developed in Bell Labs and brought to market through Alcatel Lucent Ventures. It's designed to let enterprises regain control over laptops. We call it Project Evros. You see, the number of laptops in the field in enterprises is growing. It's actually over 50% of all new PCs. These laptops are hard to manage, hard to control, hard to update. IT really doesn't know where they are or what their state is. And of course, if they're lost or stolen, they represent a huge liability to the company with the amount of confidential information that's on laptops today. We all remember the Veterans Affairs la lost laptop with 26 million social security numbers last year, for example. There's no real solution to allow IT to manage laptops until today. Project Evros allows IT to have full visibility and control over laptops anytime, anywhere, even if the laptop is turned off. This is the Evros card. It's the heart of our solution. It's security central. <clears throat> it's the ignition key to the laptop. In fact, the laptop won't work without it. In this card are three components, a 3G modem, a Linux computer, and a battery. 3G modem, a Linux computer, and a battery, all in one device. Actually, inside of it is also a GPS locator, software, encryption, two-factor authentication, VPN client, and much, much more. OK, Dimitri, let's, uh, let's look at the technology. So Dimitri here has a laptop which is just an enterprise laptop. It's connected right now over 3G. And he'll also have our management system, which is a server sitting at the enterprise. And you'll see that there's nothing special about this laptop right now. Dimitri can go to google.com. He can surf the net and so on. And if we'll go to the management screen, you'll see that Dimitri, being the IT guy, can see the laptop. It can see that it actually has an automatic VPN established. See, automatically, whenever you turn on the device and you go online, whether on Wi-Fi, LAN, 3G, VPN is created automatically. Dimitri can completely control this laptop anytime, anywhere. And for example, if we had an alert that the laptop had a virus in it, a worm in it, anything of that nature, and we needed to quarantine the device, all Dimitri had to do is press a few buttons, and he'll be able to control that device remotely and remotely quarantine it. So for example, if we'll switch back to the laptop, and Dimitri will try to go to google.com again, you'll see that he'll get a bad screen. There we go. Of course, we could un uh, unquarantine the device with just a few clicks, or this can all be done automatically by policy. Now, we mentioned that this also works when the device is turned off. So, Dimitri, why don't you put that laptop to sleep? And we'll switch back to the management screen. OK, excellent. So, what is this useful for? Well, you can continue to patch which is very difficult for IT to patch those mobile employees that are roaming, that aren't connected, and they need this critical patch for the Microsoft operating system, for example. They can continue to patch them, back them up, update them, even deliver emails when the computer is turned off. So think about this. You have a sales guy. Sales guy is, uh, keeps his laptop in his bag. You manage the device at the same time. But now what happened if somebody came and took that bag and ran away with it with all your corporate data? Well, we can issue a remote kill command that will lock the data and completely secure the laptop. And this will go to the laptop even though it's in sleep right now or turned off or what have you. See, the data is still on the laptop, but it's encrypted. And the encryption keys are kept on the card, as well as all the authentication information needed to turn on uh, the device. So if we um, turn on the machine again, and even though it's turned off right now, this new policy was delivered through our card over the 3G network, got cached on the machine, and the meter will try to log on and he'll be logged off again and again. And actually, you'll see that a special password was going to be needed. That special password is a one-time, secure password that only works on his device, only on his user. And Dimitri can only get it by calling IT, requesting for it, and that will unlock the device. OK, so while Dimitri unlocks the machines, we can continue with the demo. You might ask yourself, well, what happens if somebody pulls out the card, right? Does all the security disappear? Well, no. This is the ignition key to the laptop. The minute you pull it out, the computer locks, encrypts, and become totally secure. So you don't need to worry about this computer or the data on it anymore at that point. So while Dimitri will show you this, we'll take a few seconds. Let's summarize. We've shown you kind of the big brother features of this solution. But Evros goes well beyond that. Actually, we designed it as an open platform that allows ISVs anywhere to develop cool applications on this, on this solution. They can prefetch emails, podcasts, and so on. But it can also interoperate well with other technologies that are in IT today. 
whether it's patch management vendors, encryption, network access control, configura ma configuration management, any other solution can work very well integrated with our solution as well. Actually, some industry leaders have already done so. I know there are some people in the audience here that can integrate with our solution as well, so come and talk to us after. Anyway, so just in summary, hopefully we've shown you that this is the first solution out there that gives control back to IT, that allows them to control the, desktop, the laptop just as they control desktops that are on and turned on in their environment today. It gives them full control anytime, anywhere, even when the desktop or the laptop actually is turned off. So come and see us in Boost 20, and we'll show you a lot more of what this technology can do. Thanks.